Hi everyone, welcome to Intelli Summer Camp. I am Sumana, teacher at First Cry Intelli Tots, West Maradpalli. Today, I have come up with a very interesting story for you. So, let's get into the story. The story's name is Alice in Wonderland. This girl's name is one Alice. This pretty girl was feeling very bored at home, sitting idle, as there were no friends for her nearby her house. So what happens? She comes out of the house and gets into a garden near her house. So what happens? She was just going through the garden and there she finds a rabbit running into the bushes. So Alice was wondering why this rabbit is getting into the bushes and the rabbit was wearing a waistcoat. So Alice, here Alice follows the rabbit. After following the rabbit, Alice also gets into the bushes where the rabbit goes. So what happens? She finds a very big hall under the bushes. So there in that hall, she's, she sees a small table on which a small bottle was kept. So she's, she, say, she goes nearby to the bottle and the bottle says, drink me. The bottle has a tag which has written, drink me. Alice goes near the bottle as she was also a bit thirsty. She drinks the water, water or juice, whatever it is there in the bottle. She drinks, drinks the bottle and she becomes very tiny here. See, see here the table is smaller and Alice is big. Here the table is too big for Alice because she has drunk the juice from the bottle and she becomes very tiny. She becomes very tiny here and she thinks, oh my god, what happened to me? I, as I started drinking the juice, I became very small. With one sip of juice, I found so much of difference in me. What's going on? She thinks like that and she, she feels very bad. Here again, Alice gets into another room where they are muffins on the table and the muffins are on a plate and the plate says eat me the, the plate has these muffins and it says eat me Alice starts eating the muffin as soon as she starts taking a bite she becomes very tall very tall as she can reach the ceiling of the room. So Alice here wonders what's happening with me. Why I am becoming like this small, big and all. Why? What magic is going on around me. So she just thinks like that and feels very bad and starts crying. She started crying. And slowly the rabbit from behind comes and asks Alice, what happened? Take this, uh, take this cake and eat. Then Alice takes the cake from rabbit's hand and eats the cake. As soon as Alice takes a bite of the cake, Alice becomes normal again. Alice becomes normal. And the rabbit says, come follow me. The uh, rabbit takes Alice to the garden where the king of hatters and hatters friends are sitting and having a sip of tea with empty cups then alice thinks oh what's happening why are they having empty cups then the rabbit says it is not an empty cup he is the king and they are his friends who are, are having their breakfast sitting in the garden and sipping the empty cups. It is all magic. So slowly Alice runs away from that place. She finds a big trunk tree. See, it's a tree with a big trunk and 
Alice finds a door to this trunk. So what happens? Alice gets into the trunk, opens the door and gets into the trunk. There she finds two soldiers painting the white roses red. Then Alice asks the soldiers, what is this? What's happening? Why are you painting the white roses red? So the soldiers say, because the queen likes the red roses, not the white roses. And she asked us to paint the white roses red. Oh my God, what's going on? Let's move on. Then here again, Alice goes back to her normal play, normal stage where she came from and gets into her normal life. Here, Alice says, never get into anything without knowing. So, Alice was happy again because she went back to her normal uh, garden and no, her house. That was the story of Alice in Wonderland. So, I hope kids you like the story, Alice in Wonderland. We'll come back with another interesting story again. Bye!